Oh, so this is the truck we're working on today. All right, get her on the road. All right, guys, we got the F-350 dually here. Um, heading back to the shop now. It's about a 10 or 15 minute drive. It's uh, 920 this morning. It's freaking 20, 15 degrees, sorry. It's 15 degrees outside, so it's a little bit chilly. Um, luckily, this truck's got heated seats, so my, my buns are nice and toasty. So we're gonna um, pretty much this truck, I'll just give you guys a rundown. So with this, um, I guess, client, he has got to line up of trucks, and um, they're all pretty much brand new F-350s. Um, we just do a good basic inside. Um, I hate saying basic because it's just, I don't know, I don't really like it. Um, but we go ahead, take the floor mats out, get those nice and clean, then we use motor plast on those. Um, carpets get nice and clean as well, um, we drill brush them, vacuum them up, wipe everything down with PNS and Swift. Um, and then the windows, we go ahead and clean the door jams. For it, for the exterior, just because this is this first time, this truck's first time um, so far through the shop, for all the first time F-350s, um, I've been just claying them, doing an iron decon, and then hitting them with SO2 from Koshemi. Um, and that's going to give it a really nice base, and then that allows me you know, for whenever the next time I do it to go ahead and follow up maybe like Defender or maybe Bead Maker, you know, something that's a good maintenance product. I feel like Defender and uh, Bead Maker, they are all right base products themselves, but they're not as good as SO2 in my opinion as I've done testing. So, um, that's why I'm using SO2 to start out, and then if I want to go with those as like a maintenance product, product, I'm going to use that. So if I sound a little stuffy and I'm stumbling my words a little bit, I'm just getting over a little bit of a cold. So bear with me. <laughs> um, but I'm going to uh, I'm gonna cut it here, continue driving, and uh, we'll pick up when we get back at the shop. So all right. As you can see, which obviously fits in here, but it's really cold, so we're gonna need to let this warm up for a few. So I actually, I think I might, might start on the inside. And the floor mat is pretty dirty, but I mean, under that, I mean, it's all that, not that bad. I mean, the seats need a good wipe down, they're dusty, and, and door cards are a little dusty and dirty. And I mean, overall, like I said, though, I don't, the backs backs are not all too terrible these are like typically what I get from them I wouldn't say they're all that bad walk around here I might take that thing out because I keep racking my shins on it it hurts um, but just a bunch of stuff so I mean as long as you just you keep everything together you know make sure you put everything back in the truck when you're done I mean, yeah, it's, it's like, like I said, not that bad. I mean, it's a little cold on the inside, so I don't know how the product react, but I could put the truck in accessory mode and not start it and run the heat. And I think it should let it heat up a little bit. I don't know, I don't think the truck has to be on. So I'm going to get everything together here um, and then start working on the inside while the outside is warm it up currently in the shop it is overnight the shop was at 67 but because i opened the door for literally like 30 seconds it dropped down to 56 it doesn't feel like 56 in here but i don't, I don't know so you know that's how cold it is outside just from opening the door for i don't know maybe longer than 30 seconds obviously but just just long enough to get the truck in it drops it all the way down to 56 so all right, well, let's uh, let's get started on this. Let's get this interior cleaned up because I got to go pick up another car today. So, all right, guys, 
thought I'd bring you guys along the way for a little bit of interior cleaning, kind of just make this a little, a little pocket segment. But um, like I said, on the interior, we're using that piano Swift on a microfiber. And we're just going ahead and you know, wiping everything down and between the nicks and paint as best as we can. And got all these plastics. I think I'm going to actually take the vacuum and hit the cup holders first, just cause there's some stuff inside of them and a little dirty. So it wouldn't hurt to do that first to this. So I'm just gonna get around the edges first and then come back through when I do vacuuming. I don't even remember what we were talking about. Should probably go back and look. Windshield just is a little different for me, I suppose. I mean, that's really, in my opinion, one of the most important um, things to get really clean on a vehicle is the windshield. I mean, everybody likes nice, clean glass, especially nice, clean windshields. So, and that's as a person who has really giant, fat, meaty claws on them. Um, it's hard for me to eat down down all the way on that window so I want to I want to make sure I can make it as easy as possible for me when we do go try to clean it as best as I possibly can um, just so just so that I don't have any issues so you can see here we got our doors nice and clean hold on hold on all right cool we got that um, plastics done up front so we just got to get down here carpet all right real quick see this is why i want to go over it you can see all the smearing and everything yeah i don't like that i'm not gonna leave that for some reason i didn't do it on these back seats back here so i don't know i don't know but vacuum hit this we already got hit, hit this door so Nice and clean. The only thing I'm gonna do left is maybe just put a vacuum down in there. Get some uh, extra crap that there was in there left. But overall, pretty clean. So. pretty much all wrapped up um, just a couple small things we got to do and like maybe do a little small vacuum one more time it's not just just one more quick little vacuum what it hurt it but so we got that that's the exterior that's gonna go up always make sure you get under that Nice and dirty. Man, uh, man. I think it's dirty. It's also very dirty. So, I'm gonna go ahead and see what we can do to this thing. Try and clean it. No, well, try. We are going to clean it. <laughs> But uh, be back when we have this thing clean. We're gonna start on the wheels and tires here. So I have some uh, products I've been wanting to test out. 
Um, I've been actually using them for a while, but I just wanted to do a little bit of a review on them. So here we have Imbue. Um, it's a company, well, it's actually from the company Shane Shine Supplies, um, or Shine Stop Supplies. Um, but the lineup is called Imbue. This is Reset, the wheel, tire, and bug cleaner. Um, for the actual tire though, um, they sent me this all-purpose cleaner. They don't have any labels for it yet, but I've been using it and it works really good. So um, in the bucket here, you guys can see it. We have Pearl Shampoo from p and So go ahead and uh, show you guys. So like I said, I've been using this a while now. It does a really good job of getting the tire nice and clean. Um, now, the wheel, bug, and tire stuff, it does also a good job, but I feel like it's not as strong as this all-purpose cleaner, and you know, that really well could be the case, you know? So, um, just get this nice and clean, spray this all-purpose, pull it back there, and then, um, right there. Kind of let that sit there um, for a second. I'm actually gonna load up that whole can here for a little bit. I also have another product here called Low Low Gear. in that foam can and get that clean at all. But, or to put that much in there. But I mean, in my experience, you don't really need a whole lot of that load here for it to really start working. I mean, it's a pretty good um, pre-wash chemical in my opinion. I really like it. So I have my rag company one and I'm just gonna use this one until it breaks. Then I have my rag company one already, but I'm really digging it. It's a really good brush. Hasn't given me any issues at all. Then, uh, so you can get kind of actually behind the actual, you know, back here and stuff like that. So. darken that a little bit so you guys can get a better view of it. So, I mean, you can see that's a huge difference in the, uh, the color difference, you know. Um, they definitely need to be polished up, they're scratched, but I mean, like they say, it's a work truck, it's not a show truck, so uh, I would be really happy with this, you know. Um, and I am really happy with how it works, so. It's always a safe idea um, to test your wheels. Especially aluminum before you do any cleaning on them because you know some chemicals are really sensitive to the aluminum. And so you just need to make sure you, uh, you test before you do the whole thing. So we're gonna do the we're gonna do the same thing in this rim and tire back here. All purpose cleaner here.
for this, you know, let's see here. This stuff right here, the reset, um, wheel, come on, focus. Wheel, tire, and uh, bug cleaner. It's not one in a focus, but the wheel, bug, and tire cleaner. Pretty nice stuff, along with the uh, all-purpose cleaner from the MBU lineup, from Shine Shop Supplies. It's working very nicely. I mean, beautiful. You know, you can't beat that. Nice, nice rim and tire cleaner. Um, paired up with the, uh, a little bit of low gear. You know, it's a low pH. Um, can't remember what it, the owner said. I believe it's like a pH of maybe six or seven. Um, I can't remember right off hand, but it's a good pre-wash. So, I mean, that's what we'll use today when we go to get all this dirt and everything. We'll pre-rinse the truck, get all that crap off, and get ready to do our, our thing with this thing. I'm going to go ahead and hit the other uh, rim and tire, and uh, I'll be back here shortly, guys. So now, we just finished the uh, entire pre-rinse, got everything all rinsed off, got everything as clean as we can get it without actually doing any contact wise. So now, uh, we're going to go in with this Purist um, wheel cleaner and iron remover. We're using it for iron removing and wheel cleaning. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and run this all over the truck. So. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna be honest, just got into the groove of things. Forgot to record me cleaning the entire truck, but it's clayed, it's nice and slick now. Um, just rinsed everything off. Put a little bit of um, spray sealant on the rims, just because that makes it easier to dry. But the actual paint itself, as you can see, there's no protection on it yet. We're gonna dry it off, and then we're gonna put um, SO2 on it, so. All right, so, got her finished up. Nice and slick now. Looks good. The back side here. So, looks great. Let's uh, let's get this thing taken back. So typically, after I'm done, um, just take the trucks back and send them an invoice, and that's that's that until they have another truck ready for me. Um, but with them having eight vehicles and them driving it all the time they get maintenance pretty frequently so um i stay pretty consistent with them but at the same time i got other clients and other new, uh, new people and, you know i got a bunch of stuff you know always keeping me busy so i mean if you would want my answer on if you should detail for a, kind of like a big um, like a mass amount of vehicles for one company I don't think it hurts, you know, uh, definitely think you just need to make sure um, that it's going to work out for you. Um, currently, I'm in the position right now where I need to hire somebody else to come out and help me with these details. Um, it's just a matter of finding the right person, I guess you could say. Um, not everybody enjoys detailing, so it's, uh, it's a little bit of a challenge. And then also the factor of everybody wants to have their own detailing business now so I would say the detailing world has kind of picked up pretty pretty quick this past like one three years in that range um, it's kind of picked up so a lot of people are looking to start their own business or kids get home from summer college and st stuff like that they want to they want to make a little extra bang for that summer so they'll start out their detailing business so you know, hey, props to them for getting out and getting on it, but at the same time, I need somebody, so, um, uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna be there in about five minutes or so, so, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of the drive, but, um, appreciate you guys for watching, 
I'm going to try and make more of these little vlog style detail videos. I kind of like them. So, um, it's not, you know, fully detailed, detailed, but just kind of like you, you're coming along with me for the ride. So, um, got any questions or anything about what products I use or how I do things or got any ideas for what I should do next? Let me know. Let me know. So, alrighty guys. Take care. Bye.